is a little bit exhausted because yesterday we shot his movie for AOL, yeah. Red Zone, and we're Steve. waiting for Laura Swisher, who's in, oh, Steve was in the movie. This is awesome Steve. Too. Everyone's a little tired. I was sleeping on the way here, Feeny. actually. Not in the movie, still tired. Feeny's <laughs> going to move in with Ari, so she's exhausted. And Ari reeks of garlic, so he's sitting alone in a corner. <laughs> and we're waiting for Laura Swisher. Big D is here as well. Okay. We're waiting for Laura Swisher, who, who's just gotten back from China. Well, I don't know that I want to guess as to her lateness. She's already sent several emails with, um... Oh, and there's a picture of her. Let's see if we can do this. These are emails from Laura. But this is kind of a like a absurd adventure because someone's on the internet watching this video, watching me surf the internet to find a picture of Laura in front of Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square. Square. This is right before she got ran over by a tank. <laughs> oh, I know that's not funny. I didn't say it because I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. So do you think Laura or Elle will, will come first? It's Usually the guest arrives before Laura and it's someone who doesn't know me, has never been to my home before and there's that awkward moment where we look at each other and go, um, hi. <laughs> Why are your oh, Graham, Graham was the host of a talk show called, was it Strip Poker or? Strip Poker, Strip something or Strip, no. It was on the Game Show Network. Do you think Laura's going to be very jet lagged? Big D? When did she come in? Well, I started getting emails from her last night, so I assume she came in last night-ish. I was with Little D and HB, <laughs> all D. <laughs> Little D and HB? All D, all, all D. <laughs> Making his movie for AOL. For Sheezy? That's a lot of letters. Speaking in. Oh, let's go. That's let's go see it is. Hi. Hi. Uh, podcast. Come Hi, on come in. on in. Laura's late. Oh, hey, what's hey. up? Oh, I'm video blogging. <laughs> nice. Usually. I'm Matt. Graham, how are you? Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. I'm Louise. Oh, how was China? Really good. Is it Chinese? Yeah. Nice. Were you there, were you there with your family or? Uh, I was there, yeah, pretty much. My mom, my stepsister, her husband, and their, uh, their two-year-old. Did everyone get along? No. There was a two-year-old in the mix? <laughs> One of us didn't come back. Wow. Did you kill another baby? <laughs> yes, he killed so many babies. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, I can't look away without her choking baby or throwing a fire. Or... Laura. Temper. Hi, Laura. I want to hear about how your family didn't get along in China. Um, no, we got along. Everyone got along. My yeah. mom got a little pissy with me because I was watching Ocean's 12 <laughs> on the HBO mm -hmm. and she wanted to sleep. Oh. Uh, was there any gunplay? In Ocean's 12, there was. Uh, no, no, no. Between you and your mom. No, there was no gunplay. Hmm. Knives? No. Chaco sticks? Yeah. So what's your definition of pissy? Hey, do you mind turning that off? I want to keep watching this. Okay, snooze. Is that, okay. is that the big fight? <laughs> okay, switch around. Right. Right. The big fight was, <laughs> was the uh, How long have you been watching that? Like, it's almost over. And then ten minutes later, I think you're being very rude. And then me, <laughs> okay. It's really, it's almost over. And that was the, that was the, our fight. But couldn't she just wow. close the paper door? <laughs> yeah, there was, we didn't have paper doors between the, uh, well, did you hit the gong every time you woke yeah. up? <laughs> I did. Or if I, if I thought that she did something that just wasn't right, I'd be like, go! <laughs> like when you guys fought, did you do that thing where you spun through the air and like, uh, <laughs> also flying daggers and doing right to the front? Yes. That did happen. It's Laura, would you mind turning that down? When, I can't. I wish I had heard that. Because you know how like when your mom says something, it's just much worse than when anyone else says it? Like when yeah. your mom asks you to turn something down, it's just a million times worse. Why is that? It's like when, whenever my mom says, I'm going to beat you to death. It always just sounded worse <laughs> than like when someone else would say that. You're a stupid child. Like that always sounds worse when it comes from your mom. <laughs> I never should have had you. Like that, that's always just a little worse. They just had that control over us. I should have thrown you in the lake. <laughs> like your father asked me to do. Like your father asked me to do. So he comes out and he's holding like this three foot long snake uh, at the head and 
Is it alive? It's alive. Oh my oh. god. Meet it your is food. it is alive. Did you name it before you ate it? <laughs> I didn't name it before I ate it. And um uh, so and then they she the, the boss lady she brings out a uh, platter she puts on the ground and then there's a, this cup filled with uh rice wine. And they What killed, wine goes with snake? They apparently <laughs> rice wine. <laughs> And apparently they uh, they just used scissors. They like circumcised scissors the snake with red plastic handles, no. like you would see, no. like school children would have for their arts and crafts. Oh, oh. You know. cutting up a snake today, kids. So he just <laughs> this is the whole thing. Snips the snake's head off. Oh. Like and then immediately turns it upside down. Yeah. And the blood is running Ew. from the snake into the. A glass of rice wine. No. And then they make you drink it, and they set it. the snake's head on fire. Well, I didn't drink the whole. I took a sip. You took a sniff of snake's blood. I You're drinking I, snake's blood. I've, dr I've, I've, yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was just an unpleasant, um, an unpleasant taste, and so I gave the, uh, I gave the snake blood wine to the uh, the table next to us um, Said suck with on your, his. and they were very <laughs> with your compliments they were happy because apparently snake's blood is supposed to be good for you somehow I don't I don't know how I, I'll take their word if you're a demon it. it's really good for you <laughs> Uh, Krishna would be my stepsister Eric is her husband and then they have oh yeah they have a, a, a two-year-old uh, adopted, adopted boy who, uh, so a, a, a beautiful black uh, two-year-old named Bodhi. Black babies are the new opium. Really? To Chinese people. Are they expensive? Yeah. No, they, they, they're like, they're like crack. They smoke like, them? They smoke are, babies? I'm, they are, are, like at the Great Wall, we could not, there were crowds, throngs of people, like literally like grabbing them to get pictures, like, it's insane. Because I was, we were going to give a shout out because now we have 101 registered members but we this happened while you were gone we got our 100th mm -hmm. member of course it happened while I was gone. of course everything happens everything fun gone. happens yeah that, that's part you know what that's what? part about you missed out because you were in china <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that was every time i go to tahiti fun stuff happens on the podcast <laughs> of a black baby. <laughs> I was going through a life-changing travel experience and you guys got new memories and I didn't know him about it. My mom bought porn. Oh! oh. How about burying the lead? Your mom bought porn. Uh, Chinese <coughs> porn? My mom is one of Think these... Think about Chinese porn an hour later, you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, 50s, yeah. I'm making a joke. Yeah. Well. Hi, it's Shecky Alwood. <laughs> and so there was this uh, porcelain egg with a you know very lovely like vibrant yellow with a dragon painted on it. But if you open the egg up, there's um, a little sculpture of of two people fornicating. And so my mom was trying to get the history of the porn egg, and uh, <laughs> and we start walking away. And then the man is like, "Oh, I've, I've got more stuff." And we're like, "Mom." Keep walking, just walk away, and now he's just showing her anything with porn in it. Like, oh, you might be, you, the American, you know, core bag, you might like this. <laughs>